Welcome back, Sky Pirate. Jetpack 13 Hypers, Jetpack 13 Hypers, Jetpack 13 Hypers. Would you like a cup of tea? friends welcome in how are you today welcome to jet after dark our first in a bit but one one of the new things some of you may have noticed just a, a teensy new thing new jet after dark art new new, new jet after dark art <laughs> Also, Sassy, notice the other thing. We have new emote. New, new emote is also available. Uh, no, Diego. 
I, I can answer that for you right now. No. Everything is pretty much the same. It's just the game is a little bit more intense. That's all it is. Um, anyway, lead on. But. Alan Z, but not too fast. All right, let's go. Uh, let me double check that everything else is correct, and then I'll move on over. I think I'm good. I think we're good. I might need to change the focus of the camera if it's wonky. But anyway, welcome in, everybody. How are you today? Uh, let me see here. Let me scroll back. And... Uh, Mary, you were first. Also, happy birthday, Mary. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Sassy, welcome in. How's it going? Emmers, hello. New scene hype. Jet After Dark. Diego, hello. Welcome in. Val, hello. Uh, and uh, Mary, thank you so much for subscribing, resubscribing for three months. It's crazy that it's been three months. It's wild. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but uh, And thank you for the 50 stream streak as well. It's also wild. Way to go. Way to go. Um, someday I'll make it back up to 50. You will, I believe. I believe. Uh, Mary, you're halfway to a prize, sort of. I haven't actually given the other two people prizes yet, but soon. <laughs> but I, I will now have more time, I think, soonish. So we'll see. Um, Brad, welcome in. Hello, how's it going? Gilmore. Uh, thank you. I've had an amazing day. Started with YV stream and ending with yours. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I hope it. I hope we end well. Um, but yeah, so we now have the salute emote is now available for those that wish to salute. Uh, and uh, and you know, be affirmative. I guess that's, that's what it's there for. So anyway, salute is now available. Uh, for for people who are subscribed. Um, also, uh, for those who have not been here before, I guess I should uh, uh, I should mention for people like Diego. Uh, <laughs> so this is a Jet After Dark, uh, which basically just means we are playing a game that is a little bit more intense than what we normally play as. It, this game, even though it has a lot of like warnings, is rated T for Teen. So I don't think it's going to be that explicit in terms of its content, but um, at any point, you can you can do exclamation point. Wait, that's not right. It didn't. Oh, it says judgment is rated T, but it's supposed to say banishers. Um, so hold on, <laughs> let me uh, let me fix that real 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 fast. Vanishers is rated T and contains. Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally did that. There we go. Submit. Got rid of the second vanishers. There we go. No, uh, unfortunately, no. We're still family friendly. It's just the game is a little bit more intense. The game is less cozy. Oh, the music is loud. Thank you. I didn't lower it. Apologies. Um. Uh. It's just that the game we're playing is maybe a little bit more intense. But again, this game is apparently still rated T for teen, but it has uh, a bunch of, you know, maybe more intense stuff. It's just so that people who are maybe only looking for a cozy time have the ability to decide for themselves whether or not they would like to consume this content. That's all it is. Um, I was enjoying playing a game of fill in the blanks with the announcement yesterday, and my favorite of the ones that came up with is new voice acting by Mr. Bean. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> you should, that one is, should be one that, <laughs> that you should have gotten. Uh, <laughs> Control was cozy ass. It, I mean, was it? I don't know. <laughs> we had a lot of good chats, and that's the thing is, everything else about the game, I mean, about the stream stays the same, so we'll still be, chatting uh, uh with a narrative game though i will pause all of the redemptions afterwards also how about you guys see i well i should have i should give you a warning for this um we'll do another fist bump but here's one of the new things um when this one ends 
Uh, oh, what? Uh-oh. Hold on. <laughs> My stream deck just crashed. It's fine. It's fine. Apparently, it was not ready for that. <laughs> That's odd. Hold on a second. What would have... Why would that break? Why would that be the thing that breaks? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. Hold on. Close this. Everything I set up yesterday was gone. <laughs> Hold on. Very strange, very strange. I 100% know what it is, but oh, I, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. It's back. It's back. Everyone calm down. I was scared for a second. But wait a minute. Why would... Okay, hold on. Let's try something. We're going to do a fist bump. But... Um... I need you guys to do, so you guys need to get ready. I need you, I need you to get your, um, I need you to get your fist bumps ready. There needs to be ten separate messages of at least a single fist bump, okay? When it starts. Anyway, lead on. Allons-y. So get ready. Okay. Kind of like, kind of like a, um, uh, my stream deck like crash, if that's, why, if, if that's why you're wondering why the sounds are replaying. Um, wait, what? It's doing it again. Hold on. I wonder if, hold on, it just crashed again. <laughs> Very good. This is turning out great. This is. Hold on. I wonder if nobody do a fist bump until I tell you to. I think I need to fix something. I think I know what it is. Maybe. Maybe not. I did not foresee this. Okay. So. go here boop, boop, boop. also I need to reconnect OBS please connect <clears throat> starting off strong start new stuff is starting off very strong um, I will tell you some of the other things while we're while I'm doing this while I'm trying to get this all set up um, is uh, there is a, uh, a new raid video my friends so if we get a raid today we will we will show you the new raid video. Vix, welcome in. Hello. Just troubleshooting some things. Um, sometimes it does this thing <clears throat> where it doesn't want to connect to OBS. It's doing that thing right now, so hold on. Maybe I'll just restart it again. Um, 
Yeah, no, none of that will work because the um, it's not connected to OBS. Diego. No more 80s dating video? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you positive about that? Um, okay. But there is a new raid video. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, so that's now connected. So, if I do that. Okay. So if I do this, if I do this, are you going to break? You shouldn't. Okay. I think we're fine. So, okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Boop, boop. Just going to press that button a couple more times just in case. All right, <clears throat> so um, we are going to uh, do a fist bump. Please get your fist bump emotes ready um, as uh, what we need, sort of like how the uh, B gifter works. We're going to need 10 separate messages of at least a single fist bump. You can do more, but it's only going to count one. So, um... Get ready on the count of three. One, two, three. I want to see some, I want to see some fist bumps. Anyway, lead on. Allons-y. They're not too far. All right, let's go. It's going to work. It should work. Why isn't it working? Oh, no. Why didn't it work? <laughs> So it didn't work. Pourquoi? <laughs> Why did it not do its thing? Maybe, hold on. Let me double check this here. Boop, boop, boop. Uh... Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Yes, 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 I think I, I think I've seen, I think I see, I, I think I saw what I did wrong. Uh, uh, commands? Needs to be trigger button, not unblock button. So, trigger button. Let me just double check, that is the... So I think now, all right, okay, save, all right, get your fist bumps ready, everybody. We're doing this again, We're doing this again, it's a new thing, new thing, it's obviously working very well, very, very well. All right, get your emotes, your fist bump emotes ready, 10 separate messages of at least a single fist bump. <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> now, if you guys, <laughs> when a fist bump happens, uh, <laughs> if, if a fist bump happens, you need, we need at this point, 10 separate messages of fist bump emotes. Uh, and uh, you'll break the screen. You'll, as, as we often joke about breaking the screen, uh, and then you'll hear uh, voice actor Lenville Brown um, uh, detailing, uh, saying well, bam. Uh, so anyway, there we go. So that's going to be a thing now. Anytime the fist bump starts, it should work. 10, 10 fist bump emails, that's all we need. If we need, end up needing to add more, but I, I figure you only have, here's the deal. From whenever that fist bump is redeemed, you only have 20 seconds 
to add in <laughs> your fist bump emotes. So it's not a lot of time. So that's why I said it at 10 instead of like with B Gifter, you guys have like 41 seconds to do now 100, uh, which you guys can do, but you have plenty of time there. Um, so with fist bump, because of like delay and stuff, I was like, okay, you guys have 20 something seconds. But I think uh, Big Gifter is, I mean, not Big Gifter. Fist Bump is only like 30 plus seconds long. So you, it's overall not super long. So you, you, you know, in order to get it done. Anyway, so that's one of the new things. Enjoy, enjoy punching the screen. Um, there are also some new commands. Um, would you like to know some of the commands? Uh, some of them are going to be limited to certain events, and so I can't show you yet. Um, there are some commands, uh, one of which is one of my favorites, but it is only available when a hype train is either about to start or has started. So that one, uh, but I think it'll prompt you in chat for that. I think a message will pop up. So... Uh, like a message will pop up in chat for for that. I'm, I'm fairly positive. So, uh, but I'll I'll tell you guys when it's when it when it, we're there. Um. Uh, let's see. Boop boop boop. Uh, we have some new sounds that are just gonna play as we stream. You you guys will see them as we switch scenes, certain scenes and stuff. There'll be different sounds. Um, there's a special one in the BRB screen. Um. That I'll tell you what it is now. I'll try to remind you before we take our first ad break. But when we get to the BRB screen, try sending a message with the Garfi emote. Okay. Someone remember that. For those who have not seen our Garfi emote, this is what it looks like. Why? Um, is that Garfield oh. so muscular? <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to play now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. That's not supposed to play right now. Block Garf. There we go. Garf is blocked. I missed the fist bump. Well, Brad, you can always redeem it again to see what happens. Does it make me Garfield? It does not make me Garfield. Um... And remember, for, for all the new people, when you redeem a fist bump, please, you know, say something nice in there. Say something encouraging or, or share something good that's happened to you so that we give you a fist bump. Proceeds to not. I mean, I guess it's up to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, maybe I spoiled it, but you can show everyone else. When we get to the BR BRB screen, uh, send a Garfi email. Um... There's a few different variations. Actually, I should mention, there are a few variations of all of, or most of the sounds. Um, for those don't, that don't know, um, uh, the narrator voice that we hear is, in fact, the narrator from the game Disco Elysium. Uh, I've hired the voice actor to record stuff for us uh, twice, twice now. And so we have um, a new uh, round of sounds. Um, some of them are not implemented yet because I need to either make things for it or figure out where they go. But we have a lot of stuff. But like I mentioned, um, some of the new sounds will be hype train specific, and so we won't hear those until we ever have a hype train. Um, we have a couple of other sounds, though. Um, oh. Fist bump because you've been so lovely about my birthday. Friends, give Mary a fist bump. Let's see if we can get 10. Let's see if we can get to 10. If you guys would... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if you'd like a fist bump, please go ahead and punch your screen on the count of three. One, two, three. Wa-bam! There we go. I love it. I love it. I love seeing the emotes fly around, too, so that's perfect. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not liable for any broken screens. Uh, but um, some new sounds. Uh, for for times that I'm too chatty, perhaps I'm thanking the um, the uh, uh, thanking gifters too much. Perhaps I'm 
um, doing any number of things that would make the internet upset, you guys can now do exclamation point Reddit. Reddit's, Reddit's not gonna like this. Oh, it's gonna play it twice, I guess. <laughs> I guess it does, it'll just keep doing it until as, it's supposed to delay them, but oh well, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> that's, that's a me thing. Um, Reddit's not gonna like this. And so there are three, I think, variations of the Reddit one. There might be four. Anyway, um, there is now, um, when you guys do exclamation point Australia, there's just like a small little extra bit and it rotates between two different phrases. Someone wants to do exclamation point Australia. Crikey. <laughs> uh, there, it also, uh, well, he, he has a, a, another word. It plays randomly, so it's, you guys will hear it eventually, but um, there's two different sounds there. Um, this is something that is um, has been uh, highly rec or like not rec requested, highly requested. I think Gilmore will probably be the one he seems to use this the most. Um, but uh, now, when I switch scenes from BRB and my mic is muted, you guys can now do exclamation point muted. And there are a few different variations of this sound as well. Jet. A whisper lost in the wind. Your mic is muted. Uh, YV, welcome in. How are you? How's it going? Um, so there's three different versions, I think, of the muted sound. I'm ca we're kind of just talking about all the new stuff that's going on, but YV, how's the start Did of your day? A whisper lost in the wind. Your mic is muted. There's one that he, where he says it, and it's, he's almost whispering, and it's just great. And then there's one that's just short. I think that might have been the same sound. Jet, a whisper lost in the wind. Your mic is muted. <laughs> it's so good. Just getting prepared for my uncle duties. Are you're just are, are you just dropping them off at school? What do you what do you have to do? This all looks and sounds awesome already. Thank you. I'm very excited about all this. I feel like though. I, I, at some point, I want YV and, and Ross to see Be Gifter. Um, so I don't know if we just we just fake it now um, or we wait to another time. But it depends on if 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 you're going to be around for a minute. You might be getting ready. So I don't want to, to you know, lock you into, hey, sit down for a second. Um, so uh, and then there's there's one. There is not a new there is not a new bee gifter there but but YV has just never seen one. Um, um what else? There's also um I can play for you. Where are these? Uh this is the other Oh wait. So there's this. Crikey. Uh <laughs> Crikey. And then this is the other Australia one. Good day, mate. <laughs> he says it's so good. Uh, I missed that, but I'm sitting now. I've got a bit of time. Okay, perfect. So there's something we do, YV. Um, I've got to say at the school. Oh, wait, really? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that was a thing, but good to know. Um, I thought you were literally just dropping them off. So, YV, there's something that we do here. Whenever somebody gives either like a thousand bits... Or uh, it has to be like at one time. So it's like a thousand bits at a time, five gifted subs or donates money, uh, like real monies to the stream elements, uh, stream elements thing. We do something called be gifter. And it looks something like this. We'll just pretend somebody, some, somebody just did a thing. And we're like, so surprised. So surprised that someone did a thing. Um, I would say something to the effect of, you know, so and so. You got to be careful when when you donate here because sometimes they can be very risky. 
be kind of dangerous, maybe, even. Because you never know what will happen. Like I said, you never know what will happen. Suddenly, things become quiet. Outside, trees rustle and sway. A breeze tugs at your hair as you feel the ground below you shake. Oh no. Oh no. You know what it is. What is it? A big gifter. A big gifter? <laughs> I'm trying to act like we don't, we, we have not, uh, this is all just set up. Oh, the frog's huge for some reason. Friends, we've got lasers shooting out from the ground. Make sure you, you spam your OS frog emote in chat to save me from the beginning. Remember, you have to hit 100 now. You have to hit 100. The goal used to be like 50. You got to get double that now. So we got to see some frog emotes going, going in the chat before you got to save me. It didn't switch scenes? It it didn't switch scenes. We're still here? We're still here. Oh no. What's going on? What what's going on? <laughs> it didn't Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm sure it's good. We got robbed. Yeah, I think you got robbed. <laughs> you... Do you guys hear the music? By chance? The Y stands for technical difficulties. Yeah, we don't have those here. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> ignore that. We're doing it again. Get everybody get ready. Maybe I don't know what it, that was so strange. He did not. Okay. Weirdly enough, no, it wasn't YV. Um, what was weird is it showed on my screen that that the frog scene was selected. It just didn't go anywhere. Very suspicious. Let's try that Suddenly. again. Things become quiet. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Don't Outside, don't play why be married. Trees rustle and sway. A breeze um, tugs at your hair as you feel the ground below you <laughs> shake. Okay, let's try. Let's oh, see if no. let's see if it'll actually work this time. You know what it is. Maybe it just kn knows that it's not real. Gifter. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. All right, the gifter. <laughs> Frogs. Oh gosh, it's supposed to reset the size of the frog. It does not seem to be doing that. If I were to guess, it does not. Something tells me this frog is not the correct one. <laughs> what? Why did it? It's not. It's not taking me there. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's not taking me there. <laughs> As even when I click on it. Hold on. Okay, so it, it's okay. Well, we have to go back. That's so strange. What's going on? I glare at you. Why are, why are you? Nothing has changed. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Robbed again. Yeah, what is that? Imagine this happening for a real be. I know. They'd be very sad. <laughs> so, hold on. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, and look, my camera is frozen for some reason. This is working out very good. This is a very good day. I'm really glad I decided to show YV this. <laughs> Remember when I was like, I want YV to see this, and then it was just technical thing after technical thing. It's like watching me last night again. No, it's it's great. It's you you just have to roll with the punches, and we're we're rolling. Okay, everybody. What would hold on? Frog zero. Hold on. Where's this frog? Also, why is Oh, okay, look, it's it's there again. Now let's try it again. <laughs> Just turn it. Suddenly, I, I'm trying, I'm trying. Things become quiet. Things are becoming Outside, quiet. Trees Outside. Rustle and the sway. trees rustle and sway. A breeze you see, this is why I don't say it, because it doesn't sound as cool. He can make anything shake. sound good. Oh no. Oh no. You know what it is. What is it? A big gifter. A B gifter? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> frogs! <laughs> Send in the frogs! Save us from the, the bee gifter! What up, frogs? Guess we're welcome in. There it goes! There we go! So many frogs! So you see, we had we had beak frog. I'm sorry, we had beak gifter. Now we have beak frogs. 
So many frogs. Look at all the frogs. Gizmo's in time for the frogs. Frog with a crown. We got surfboard frog, bike frog. He's got pizza too. So many frogs. All the frogs. They've come to save the day. But good thing I didn't get hit by a laser. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you, Wipey. <laughs> that's it. There's also an, uh, there's a cat version, but who knows if that one will work? So we'll just we'll 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 save that one for a rainy day. Gizmo, how are you though? By the way, how's it going? Um, put my camera back to normal. Uh, what else is new? That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Wipey. Um. I'm lost for words. It's really the only hype that we really get here uh, is, is sort of sort of that. And then that's it. <laughs> and, and then we go back to, to normal. There are no words, only ribbits. Reddit's not going to like this. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Brad. That's, <laughs> that's fair. So, okay. Um, new stuff, other new things. We have other commands. So we just did uh, Mike is Muted. Uh, one, uh, for uh, streams where we're playing a narrative game and we have, you know, our backseating channel. Now, if you do exclamation point backseating. I said exclamation point backseating. Into the into void. Into the void with you. <laughs> Man, it really needs to, I need to figure out how to just, to, like, wait to, to redeem, it needs to wait. You know what's a good narrative game? Are you going to say Eastward or are you going to say Paper Mario? Because what are you going to say, Gizmo? Paper Mario. Well, funny you should mention that. A good queue up. Get Jet to partner. Then we'll talk. There you go. <laughs> I had... <laughs> I had Lenville Brown record that line specifically for moments for you. Stream be stuttering on the reactions, is it? Um, never. I don't think so. Get get with the program. Wait, what? What's stuttering, Gilmore? Like when I do. Like the. Uh, Like this stuff? Is it stuttering? I hope it's not. Um, it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, there's now also, for when you guys lurk, there's now an additional sound. You'll still say, see you, Space Cowboy. Oh, I'm just joking. Oh, you see, you're making me nervous. Um, you'll still say, see you, Space Cowboy, but there's another thing. Point alert. Did I get a haircut? I did not. My hair is looking bad today, though. <laughs> okay, let's see another lurk because it'll do it'll do a different one. There's a catch you on the flippy flip. There we go. <laughs> so now that's one. Um, he'll say catch you on the flippy flip. Um, uh, boop, 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 boop. We've, okay, we did muted. There's the good day. Reddit. Uh, there's a bunch of hype train things that will, when we, next time we have a hype train, remind me and, and you'll see the new stuff. Um, there's some sounds that play when we get raids. And then there's the BRB screen stuff. So that's all of that. Also, before Big Frog came along, I wanted to ask you something. Why, V? Oh, there we go. Why do you have to stay for a few hours with your youngest nep nephew or niece? Is that every day or just a special event or something? Um, I love that, Sassy. I knew you would. Uh, <laughs> I knew you would. Um, but we have a new raid video. <clears throat> we won't play it until we get a raid, though. So you guys will just have to keep an eye out for that. I think, is it as good as our last raid video? I don't know. Is it better? Is, is there some kind of funny things? I think so. It's a bit different than the last one, but also fa fairly similar. I decided to stay closer to our, our original raid video because the 
I the the Naruto one did not land, and it's a little too long. So I I decided to to stick with the the thing people like. Okay, raid can come in any time. <laughs> I feel like we say that, but the the days that I have added a new raid thing, um, peop, it, we don't get raids. <laughs> so so have we uncovered everything from your post? Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Wait. No. Uh, th th they're less exciting things, I think. Um, so there was, uh, hold on. From the announcement, they were, um, Uh, first one is new salute emote. The second one is new sound alerts by Lenvil Brown. Three is you can now punch me during the fist bump. I thought it was very funny that Scrolllock thought it was able to get to you can punch me during the, but then he put wabam. But there's an extra, there are extra dashes. <laughs> so you can now punch me during the fist bump for those who did not see. If you guys would like to punch me. I don't think you guys are gonna get it, sorry. That was kind of off the cuff. There's no way. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get it. I don't think you're gonna get it, sorry. I kind of did it just without warning, my bad. Um, but you can now punch me. Um, if you guys get 10 separate fist bumps in the first 20 seconds of that redeem, it'll, it'll punch me and break the screen. Um, so that is that. The fourth one is Oh, you see, I thought I gave you guys a hint. I gave you guys a hint for number four. I really thought you guys would get that one. But number four is because uh, I thought the colon would would give it away. It's new jet after dark art. And for those who did not see, we have new starting soon screen art for when it's a jet after dark stream. Oh, okay, it's me with a jetpack. And uh, and we, we fly in. <laughs> New Jard, Jad, Jad, Jada, I guess, because Jed after Dark Art, Jard. Um, so yeah, so that's all new. I redid that art, I think three or four times. Uh, <laughs> I have drawn that city a bunch of different ways, uh, and that was a, a, it's. Each time it got less and less detailed, and I was like, this is what we want. We want less detail. Less detail. Um, then the last thing, uh, I actually forgot to put that there was a new raid video on this list, so that was my bad. But there's a new song for the BRB screen. That's the, the last one. Um, I meant to put also that there is a new raid video, because that is much better than just a new song in the BRB screen. But you know what? <laughs> that's At the time, that's what I thought about. That's what I wanted you guys to know. Um, as for the sounds, there are hype train sounds. There are special BRB sounds. Uh, don't forget to do Garfi, the Garfi email when we are in the BRB screen. Raid sounds, Reddit, exclamation point Reddit, exclamation point Australia, exclamation point muted, exclamation point backseating, the new sound for exclamation point lurk, and then exclamation point paper Mario. Um, and that's it. So... That's pretty much it. It's all the new stuff. And we're starting a new game today. It's going to be a Jet After Dark. Space Cowboy. Uh, I don't know if you're actually lurking or not, but if you are, thank you for the lurk, Gilmore. <laughs> My head wouldn't have gotten there. I believe in you, Brad. So the Parker, only... Then we'll talk. The only one on the list I wasn't able to figure out was number four. It was more fun. Wait, really? But, 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 but it has a colon there. I thought that would definitely give it away. Because in the same oh, announcement... Man. Oh. Dang. Yeah, for all the new things, Dino Dance Pop, Nemo Jetpack, 13 Fist Bump. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, Gilmore, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, I, that's not, I, that's not programmed to do that. So, <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay, any fist pumps? <laughs> no, that's not how that's supposed to work. Um... Giddy up, partner me when we get Paper Mario. No. Um, that's so strange. I don't know. Dang. <laughs> Thank you so much. Testing. That was very weird. Uh, the only... You need to make a new one when something doesn't work right. Uh, a sound bite of Todd Howard plays saying, It just works. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, it's likely that it was the 20th. Oh, wait a minute. Or it's supposed to be 10. Do 10 more fist bumps. That actually, that actually might be what it is, Gizmo. Can we get some fist, fist bump spam? Hmm. Hmm. It is. It doesn't turn off. Okay. So that. So okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We need to figure that out. Why isn't that? Okay. So then, here's what we do. At the end of. The end of fist bump. It needs to trigger button. No. Hold on. Save. Hold on, let me fix this now. Sorry. Yes. Okay. It needs to do block punch. Needs to block that button. This bump. Button ID block punch. After 21 seconds. And then it needs to also do copy pasta. Needs to trigger to reset the number of fist bumps. FB punch zero. So, we're going to do a fist bump just so that it, it actually does these now. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, after this, it, it should... So, what's going to do at the end of this... <laughs> it only needed one. At the end of this, what will happen is it'll lock those buttons. Oh, my goodness. It's just going to keep doing it? Well, bam. Um, incredible. Uh, <laughs> that's actually kind of amazing to have them spammed <laughs> in that time. I wonder if that, I guess, I guess that's how it works now. Because it doesn't, it, yeah, I guess so. If you get 20 fist bumps in a thing, it'll punch me twice. So wonderful. Um, jet coding stream. Gosh, this has been, I don't know. <laughs> I wish, I, I thought I said it everything. I mean, I set everything up as well as I thought I did. I, you know, could, but didn't expect. It's easy. It's blocked now. It's it's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do it anymore. Where it's. I have successfully stopped the punching. Um, <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're starting a new game today, so I'm very excited to start that. Um. We'll get into the game here in like 15-ish minutes. But in the meantime, how are you all? How I, we, we haven't really talked besides new stuff, but how are you guys? Um, side note, one, YV is streaming again tonight. So I'm saying, I know it's late for a lot of you, but you guys should uh, hang over there. And Villiam, welcome in. How's it going? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow last evening. I didn't, I didn't see it until today, but thank you very much. Welcome in, uh, William. Uh, we we've met through uh, official Ross, um, and uh, uh, William, if I recall, 
uh, maybe an East Coaster of the U.S. Uh, a new, newer streamer, plays a lot of X Defiant. Um, so. Boop, 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 boop. So there you go. He just reached affiliate. Just reached it. So. Uh, if you if you like a good FPS, you like some of our Aussie friends because uh, they they seem to play a lot of the games together. You might pop over there. Uh, I'm good. It's thunderstormy today, and tomorrow it's nice after all the extreme heat we've been having. It has been I don't know because I'm wearing my half zip. Uh, it is actually quite cool um, over here. It's been very rainy, lots of wind, so. It's not. It's been. It's been pretty cool here in Alaska. Uh, Join Williams' not so secret cult of gamers. We're losing is just another word for character development. Dive into their exifying escapades with a side of uh, NA not family friendly vibes. No recent broadcast. No problem. They're probably too busy perfecting the art of defeat. Come for the gameplay. Stay for the good times and the drops. Oh, funny. You sh I, I should mention this William because I know they joke about being family friendly. I am legitimately family friendly. <laughs> so we try to keep things pretty chill, pretty cozy, et cetera, et cetera. But it's pouring rain here right now. It, you guys have had a lot of storms, right, YV? Um, also, do you guys, what's, what is y'all's rainy se season? Do you guys have a rainy season? I feel like I've heard at least Queensland has, has some rainy seasons. Um, <laughs> sounds good to me, but, but welcome in. Uh, we play a bunch of things. We're we're like very chill. Lots of indie games, detective games, mystery games. But uh, we you've come in on a jet after dark where we're playing. Uh, we're gonna start Banishers: Ghosts of New Eden, um, and we call it a jet after dark whenever we're playing a game that's like a little bit more intense than the normal. So. Summer usually we'll have three weeks of extreme heat, then a week of floods. Eee! Then heat wave again. It's such a fun time. It definitely sounds it. Um, <laughs> definitely sounds it. Uh, that would be that'd be interesting. I I when whenever I mean what, what me planning my trip to Australia depends on when we reach the goal. But I am sort of leaning again, kind of like what you said, like probably fallish of uh, Australia time, Australian fall maybe. If we if we reach our goal by then, we'll see. Because I don't know if I can handle... Well, I would be interested in seeing what the summer is like. But I also don't want to get swept away in the currents of a flash flood. So, you know. I cannot stress enough. Come in autumn or spring. It's still going to be hot. Don't worry. <laughs> Fair. Fair. But, you know, I just... I, I don't know. If I go when it's winter there, that's me, that means I'm missing summer here, which I'm fine with. Um, and... I don't know. I think it, that'd be nice. <laughs> I think that'd be nice. Plus, it'd be fun. I, I don't know. I find winter to be very cozy. So maybe everyone else over there will be cozy, which I'll be, I'd be just fine with. It's the Netherlands. It rains just about as much as it does in the UK and Ireland. Oh, wow. It rains a lot over here. Um, though it seems like the past week or two, it's been like a lot of it. And we've had like high wind warnings, which is actually what I think has made it even colder. We don't go outside much in the winter, though. That's fair. I mean, I don't go outside in any time of the year. <laughs> We're not built for the cold. That's, I mean, honestly, if I am just hanging out and, and lounging with, with people, I do not mind. Right, that's, that'll, it'll be fun just to be able to say that I'm hanging out with people. <laughs> not just any people, but my, my, you know, my Twitch friends. It's good. Started my day with a YV stream, and now I'm ending it with a jet stream. In between, I've mostly done nothing because of the heat, just chilling, watching VODs, and listening to music and singing. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Mary. I got one good piece of news uh, with regards to all the work drama. I don't have to move classrooms. Sassy, that is exciting. That is very exciting. I'm glad. You still have to do, uh, like, are they still switching your subjects? My Twitch peeps. Uh, it'll, it'll, I'll be there for three weeks, and two and a half of them will just be a singular hug, uh, for YV, so, um, <laughs> two weeks will just be that. I gotta go now, but the stream looks awesome, and I hope your new game is fun. Thank you, YV! I hope you have a great day. I hope things go well at, uh, you know, with, with the nephews. Have a good one. I will get Guinness World Record hug. Exactly. 
I'll catch your stream later tonight. I hope you have a good one. So I'm losing two math classes and picking up two social studies classes. Interesting. That's so strange, Sassy. <laughs> That's so strange because you're. Uh, so are you losing all of your math classes? Bye, YB. We'll miss you. Um. Are you are you losing all of your math classes? No, I was teaching four, okay. And are you like, how comfortable are you with social studies? It seems so opposite in my head. I mean, maybe it's different when it's like younger kids, I guess. Maybe it's not as wild, but. Um, but I just remember, at least in my school, <clears throat> social studies and history were all taught by like uh, sports coaches. <laughs> so like very, there were very non-academic classes. <clears throat> it's the bane of my existence. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, I hope that, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I hope it, it's not, I hope it's not the bane of your existence. I hope you crush it. I hope you open the, uh, hope it, open their eyes to the world of social studies. The past is boring. I am. Well, it's fair. And I, I didn't. I think I did like okay in social studies. I was really bad at history. Um, but I never liked learning history. Yeah. What does social studies means? I. It's it's sort of like history class, but a little bit different, isn't it? It's a little bit more like. I don't know how to describe it. It's a little bit different, though, than just history, right? It's also like... Let's Google. How is social studies different from history? Social studies, blah, blah, blah. Um, social studies tends to focus, tends to study groups of people rather than individuals, and it looks to draw generalizations and identify trends or themes over time. History, on the other hand, treats the events of the past as a story, the story of human beings individually and in society. Interesting. That is apparently from theclassicalclassroom.com. They wouldn't lie to us. They would never. <clears throat> There's no time to look backwards, only forwards. It's like a shark. We're like a shark. Various aspects of, or branches of the study of human society considered as an educational discipline, arts and social studies. Oh, that's right. I feel like when I started off in elementary school, I think it was arts and social studies. So for what I have to teach, fourth grade is state history, fifth grade is American history. So like the revolution, civil war, westward expansion, eastward expansion. East, eastward expansion when? Defined from Google. <clears throat> like, I want to know how people wove, dyed, and cleaned their clothes. I want to know how to pour, uh, how <clears throat> how the poor made their own version of candles of grass. I learn how people used to make ink to write with. That's also that's all very interesting. I I remember I was not very interested in American history. I was more interested in any time in if I was interested in history class, it was always like world history, uh, or like. stuff like that. I was I was not very interested in I don't know. I'm not I'm also not a big non-fiction reader, so I think a lot of it was just a, like a slog getting through. It was like I don't know if I care about any of this really. Like I'm not super invested in this. I wish this was more interesting, but I don't know. Maybe that has something more to say with like our textbooks and stuff. I just didn't find it particularly um you know grasping but I was always an arts guy though so I kind of I excelled in like English class and uh, and uh, like art that was basically it that was pretty much I don't know how I passed high school <laughs> uh, I was a very middling student for all of my career I blame it on that I'm very bad at taking tests. So I that's what I'm going to say and that's my story I'm sticking to it. That's it. 
Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that has popped up. Oh, so I uh, I mentioned this earlier, like uh, last week, but I'll mention it today. Um, so the schedule for this week, I think, is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Banishers. Wednesday, we're going to take a little break. Uh, we're, we've been given a code for a game called The Star Named Eos. Um, and I believe it says it's like a three-ish hour game. So we might be able to beat it in a single stream. We might not. Um, so if not, we'll do Wednesday, Thursday, EOS. Uh, otherwise, we'll get back to Banishers on Thursday and wrap it up with uh, with more Banishers on Friday. Um, we have a couple of other indie games along the way that are that are coming up, so we'll we'll play those. But anyway, that's the plan. So uh, anytime we start a narrative game, we'll I'll try to break it up with some other stuff. So. Don't don't worry if you're like, ugh, I don't like Banishers, or I wish Jet was playing puzzle games or something. We'll get back to it. Don't worry. There will, we'll, I'll try to sprinkle it in. All I remember of my SS classes is that I learned about the Boston Tea Party every single year for five years. How many different ways can they tell us they threw tea in the harbor? I don't know. I guess that seems... It Does that seem like... Do you guys... Because I know you're also East Coast. Do you guys take, like... I don't know, field trips to like Boston or something to like see that. Cause I feel like as somebody who has never lived in the new England States, um, a lot of that seems so far away to me. Like it seems so just like, I don't know. It's hard for me to imagine sometimes too far for a day trip. That's fair. New York City and Philadelphia for me. Oh, that's dope. Uh, I've never, I've never been East Coast. Uh, well, I mean, like, been to like Atlanta. That's, <laughs> I think, and like F Florida, I guess. But that's like, I don't know. Does that doesn't seem like the right? I don't know. It doesn't seem like the same thing. Fuchsia, welcome in, Fuchsia. How are you? And DC, of course. That'd be cool. I'd like to go to DC. Uh, we have we have quite a few East Coasters. Uh, Sassy, Fuchsia, Too Much to Bear, um, who else? We got plenty of East Coast. Um, and then I am far, far West Coast, Villiam. I don't know if you know this, I live in Alaska, so opposites. Uh, Fuchsia, your, is your interview tomorrow? Did you say it was Tuesday or Thursday? Uh, Bina, is B Bina also is East Coast? Yeah, so I, I'm like, that's that's actually how I've cross-pollinated with so many Australians. It's because we're so, so far, or we're like, we're so late in the time zones that it ends up like coming around to Australia pretty, pretty much. So a born Vermonter here, look at you. We went to Washington DC once and it was a day trip. That was a very long day. We actually took a Chicago trip Chicago? Chicago. Chicago? Uh, and uh, we took a train trip there. That was like, I think, one of the longest uh, trip field trips. I barely remember it, though. Uh, I'm good. I just got home from visiting uh, with my aunt. It's the first time I've actually been able to really visit with her and have a conversation with her in a week and a half. She got out of bed and everything. Oh, Fuchsia, that's awesome. An interview is tomorrow. Good luck. I hope it goes well. You'll have to tell us all about it. Make sure you get some good rest tonight if you can. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you need to read up on anything or if you need to it all goes well. I don't know how I have. I just never sleep, I guess. I, you do stream quite late, so it does <laughs> it does make sense. Um, but, uh, it, or how, how it happens, it's fine. I am a night owl, so uh, I also, like, take a lot of naps, and, and my sleep schedule is wild. People will often comment on that. Um, but, I don't know. I've actually said it'll be funny, because I'm, I'm trying to go visit Australia. Um, and a part of me is like, am I going to just be like a normal person in Australia? Or am I going to be like, or am I just always a night owl? Like, will, will my sleep schedule and all of that, will it 
just be like, no, this is where you're supposed to be, or will it get even worse? <laughs> will will my the first day I'm there, I just like don't sleep for 48 hours or something. I don't, <laughs> it's I feel like it's it's gonna be one of those two options. My my body just can't handle <laughs> handle it, but maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. I'm already kind of on Australia time. It's, it's how things how things work. But Fuchsia, I hope hope your interview goes well. Um, okay, we'll 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 have to do our our BRB ad break here in like five ish minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll start banishers. Um, I think you'll be set up perfect. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. It'd be a shame if it if I'm just like just meant to be a night person and so then I've actually heard a lot of Australians go to sleep very early um like I I hear especially I don't know if it's a Queensland thing but I've heard that a lot of Queenslanders will um go to sleep at like 8 or 9 p.m and that's like the night's just getting started <laughs> Uh, apparently a lot of stores are closed by then. I don't know. I, I don't know about this. I'm glad I got to tell my aunt about it. Yeah, that's so nice. I'm glad that you were able to spend time with her. That's, that's dope. Um, that's really cool. Uh, well, I yeah, I hope the interview goes well. I always like to have a, a question ready because they always ask you, do you have any questions for us? And then I usually say no. <laughs> so I like to I, I, I like to have a question ready. Um, I feel like I give pretty good interviews, and it's just it's it's just when they get to know me that things get worse. <laughs> uh, like I generally thought I might never have another conversation with my aunt before she died. So today was good. Oh, Fuchsia, I'm I'm very glad that you got to spend time with her then, because that is rough. Uh, and I hope I hope you and your family are doing well because I know that has to be a very tough situation. So, um, but very cool. Uh, always, you know, I always I always think about this. I, maybe this is a, a potentially morbid thought, but every, you know, everyone just tell the people that you love that you love them. That's it. Give them a hug when you see them. No, never never shy away from shy away from it. Don't ever think ah I've already said it. <laughs> just just go, you know. Gonna head to dinner. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you so much, William. Thank you for coming in. That's, I, that's right. I forget. It's only one here. So I'm like, dinner? <laughs> but right. That's awesome. I hope you have a good one. Uh, Exactly, Gilmore. Exactly. All right. <clears throat> Friends, Um, we are going to... My family is complicated, so only my sister and I have been visiting her. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad. At least I hope you and your sister are doing well. And Bina! Welcome in, Bina. How's it going? Um, so, um, we're going to run our ads now. Uh, so that way they play. But we will be back with uh, Banishers again. For those that don't know, uh, and if you guys need to see, these are the warnings for Banishers. If you And I always say, if uh, they're there for... I mean, the, the warnings are there just to give you a heads up in case you're like, I don't want to interact with this. It's totally fine. We're going to be playing other games as well uh, as as the weeks go on. So don't even worry about it. If you need a lurk, lounge, etc. Totally understand. I am very excited about this game. I've heard wonderful things. Uh, and excited to, to try it out. But it's going to be a little bit more action-y. Um, and so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But... I just got an email that we got a, another code for a game that I'm very excited about. So that's exciting. Uh, but I won't tell you about that yet. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to BRB. Also, again, while we're in our BRB screen, please uh, do a Garfi in chat. What will happen? What will be said? I don't know. No, I didn't spoil it earlier. All right, BRB.
particular. Your mic is muted. I need to turn up the I'm muted louder. <laughs> I heard something go off, but I didn't pay attention. <laughs> so hold on. Let me do something here. We have a new muted command <laughs> for moments like this. That was unplanned. <laughs> that was not me just doing it for the lulls. Uh, where is this? Sounds. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Hold on. Uh, I need to add this to my... Audio monitor. Great. Perfect. Done. Okay. So now I should be able to hear that better. <sighs> All right. Let's start over. One. Welcome in, Raiders. Hello. We have a new raid video, so I'll have to play that for you guys. Uh, so also, people who uh, have been here, I said there's a new raid Jack, video. We get to actually watch it today. lost in the wind. Am I? Okay. Is <laughs> I was like, I'm not still muted though, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I can hear that much clearer now. And too much to bear, welcome in. So I read out Frosty Tools. Um, I won't read it out again, but uh, welcome in, Kay and Raiders. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're starting a new game today. It's We're, we're Jet After Dark, which means we're playing a game that's a little bit more intense than what we normally play. Uh, we're going to be playing a game called Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. Um, but we've also had a bunch of new things today. In fact, uh, like, for example, a new emote. We have new alert sounds, such as the muted one that you just heard. Um, 
and a bunch of other things. Um, so we, we've we uh, been kind of talking about that, getting it all set up. But we have a, a new raid video. So everybody, um, please uh, 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 get ready. You have a question about the game. Um, I, I don't think so, Mary. I'm not sure, though. I've never played the game. All I know is... is that it, it it has those things. It's just what they list in the warnings. I'm not really too sure, though. Um, but here is uh, the new raid video. Enjoy. Or don't enjoy. Hi, raiders. I'm Jet, your fourth favorite streamer. Yeah, fourth. You know, the guy you end up with when your favorites are offline and you misclicked my channel. Before we dive in, aw, Snapsicles, this is a family-friendly stream. Please keep your chats cozy and clean or my mods will be on you like a pack of wild pumas. <laughs> Looking for a triple threat? Gaming, chatting, and looks? Well, let me tell you why I'm called Triple Gent. When it comes to gaming, we dive into puzzles, indie games, RPGs, and mysteries. But the biggest mystery of all will be why you're still watching. Like to chat? Well, we get so derailed, it's like we're a train to nowhere and I'm your conductor. Choo-choo. And when it comes to looks, I am like the solar eclipse, best not to look at. Now, if you want a good streamer, follow the creators I just linked in chat. They will obliterate my stream like a snap from Thanos. Mr. Bezos, I don't feel so good. But if you like the wonderfully wrecked vibe of a beat-up pinata, then you're in the right place. The candy's mostly gone, but we can still keep it sweet. So drop a follow and we'll make this siesta fiesta the absolute besta. Got a jet? So there we go. That's the, that is the new raid video. Uh, okay, thank you so much for raiding in because I didn't know I, I I didn't show it yet because I was like yeah, we'll just we'll just wait to see when the next raid comes in. So thank you very much. Very very well timed. Um, oh, I will say so um, uh, about banishers and content and all that stuff. Banishers is only rated T for teen. So even though the warnings list mentions some kind of intense thing, I don't really know if it'll be that intense overall. I think a lot of it is probably just the violence and combat. But oh, Ponce, welcome in. How are you? Uh, it's even more like an 80s dating video. <laughs> uh, applause. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Uh, that's so good. Thank you, Opons. I appreciate it. We 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 tried. I tried. I wanted to keep it again, similar to the first one, but a little bit different. But still, kind of. It it's tough to change them up too much because I want to at least like hit the same points. So like, who am I? What kind of content? Uh. What can you expect, sort of? Like, that's kind of the three main things, I guess. <laughs> I need someone who needs someone who looks at me like Jet looks at chat. Incredible. Mr. Bezos, I don't feel so good. Chef's kiss. Thank you. I I I I thought that was I thought that was pretty good. I was like, how can I illustrate how good these other streamers are? Ah, okay, there we go. We can <laughs> that's perfect. Opons. I love that. Um so anyway, yeah, it says Banishers rated T, um, so it's not even r rated mature. It, our, a lot of our other Jet After Dark games have been rated mature. This one's just rated teen, but again, it doesn't, I don't know if it's the coziest game, so I'm really not sure. I, I was just like, we'll just make it a Jet After Dark just in case. Uh, but yeah, this is violence, gore, racism, uh, strong language, slavery, abuse, sexual content, flashing images, cult weirdness. So... Uh, but like I always say, if you guys do not wish to interact with, with any of those things, that is why that is there. So you have the heads up. I'd, I I I feel like it's all about equipping you guys so you know what's coming up so that way you guys can decide yes, no, etc. Uh, but anyway, it's only rated T14. So how, how crazy can it get? Anyway, um, that is uh, that. K, thank you again so much. One, I know what it's like after a stream, so if you need a lounge lurk, etc., please feel free to do so. We're going to be hopping into our game now. Um, we will also... Catch you on the flippy flip. Ah, thank you, Gilmore, for the lurk. Uh, lurk at work, but also playing LEGO Star Wars. Enjoy. I hope it's good. Um, if you guys have not been around for a narrative game um, before, we will turn off all of the redeems and sounds. So that way it's not interrupting key story moments with like, you know, 
a sad moment is is then like something wild and crazy is gonna happen. So all the intro sounds are off, um, or they should be. Uh, all most of the redeems are off. The only one that is still up really is the anime close up because that one's very quick. Um, it's not too interruptive. An epilepsy warning, like I said, flashing lights. Playing a well lit room. Done. Sad moment cue. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I feared for like, you know, a death scene where somebody's like dying in somebody's arms and then you just hear like, you know. Content warning. Banishers is set in a place and air known for their proverbial intolerance. Some situations of abuse depicted throughout the game tie into the oppression experienced by visible and invisible minorities during these times. While suggested by historical events, this game is a work of fiction. I did not read the rest. But I think we got most of the main part in there. So anyway. Um, I, I think she is, Mary. Uh, I, th I th they're actually both playable as far as I know. But yeah, I don't want I don't want a scene where like somebody's dying in somebody's arms and then like someone requests fist bump or something, you know? Uh, especially any of the ones that like interrupts the screen where there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Is there like? Oh, I see. Hold on. If I do this, there we go. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I just want to avoid like moments where it just completely shatters what's <laughs> what's happening. So yeah, we'll we'll um uh, for when we play narrative game, the effects and redeems, all of that stuff will be uh, only available during the just chatting portion of stream. But all right, very excited, very excited. Let's uh, hop in. Yes, I will accept telemetry. No, thank you. Uh, let's do that. Maybe brighter? I like being able to see things. <laughs> Maybe that's too light. Let's do... Switch. Is a smidge? Wait, just uh, there. Sure. Uh, I am using headphones. Night mode? No, not night mode. Parallax on. Sure. Display subtitles. Yes, please. Okay. Very cool. Already. I think we they just walked us through all the options. Fairly positive. Uh, we will choose normal difficulty, probably. Story for players who wish to focus on the narrative, for players who wish to enjoy the game with a forgiving combat challenge, for normal for players who wish to enjoy a balanced experience of story and combat, hard and very hard. We'll just... The difficulty modifies enemy damage, enemy health points, the amount of decoctions, I guess that's like potions, you can recover after encounters, and the timing of exploration puzzles. Interesting. Exploration puzzles, you say? Yeah, it's I I've heard very good things about this, so I'm I'm very excited. It looks it looks beautiful. It's like a cool story. I can't tell if it's like how sad of a story it is. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Now tell me how loud that is. I dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. He has a cool voice. I dreamed of the abyss. 
in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you too. Are we in New England? Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. <laughs> I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. How do you say his first name? Life to the living. Death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. The new poll will jet cry. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Maybe June seventh, sixteen ninety five. Really love their dynamic. Yeah, they seem. This cool. is June. I'd hate to see. I do the oh so that's actually a good question. How is the That's your birthday? How is How does it look like the sound matches? It actually might be coming in faster to my new computer, so I might need to adjust the um delay in sound. Is there like I wish I had. Take a look at the, so you see how it says TV and then under it, it has the dots. When I click on this, it should make a sound. How delayed is it? quite minor I could still adjust it do would you say is it is the sound coming first or do you see it happening on the screen and then the sound happens it's behind okay so let's try this I had it set to 150 milliseconds. I'm going to do 100 milliseconds. How does that look? Is that any better? Wait behind so, so the picture was behind the sound was coming first 
Sound, ah, okay, so then it needs to go up. Sorry, that's my bad. No, I just misunderstood. So let's do 200. Let's see. Does that look like that matches up? You can tell me. Be honest. I want to know. I could also try to check it on my iPad. It'd just be more difficult. No, still sound, then move. How, how be that? I set it to 300. It's better a bit more. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe it'll be different when the voices are on. Just in case, though. Any thoughts? Maybe we'll go talk to some people. Or when, when the cutscenes start, again, because I'm sure we'll be in a cutscene, you guys can tell me how it, how it, wait. Oh, that's fine. We didn't change anything here. We're supposed to be hearing the sound. Uh, every time the little, like, yeah, there will be, like, a little click whenever it, uh, like a, yeah, it was a click sound. But we can, um. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I just watch their mouth. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it. I'm very disappointed. Thoughts? Because that's very delayed on my end. Hmm. Sound is still coming in before for me. What about for you guys? The sound is coming in first. <laughs> Just no, you're totally good. Okay. Um That's so interesting. Okay. Let's just try this. Okay. I did 500 milliseconds. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Sound is still ahead of the picture. Hmm. Hold on. This actually might help a little bit, too. We could watch a clip or something. Uh, sound is... Really? That's so wild to me. Because um, we had it set to 150 milliseconds before. And now we're at uh, 500 milliseconds. So... We can do Hold on. It's my PlayStation. Because it did seem to be about half a second up. Yeah, so 
Five hundred. Oh gosh. Yeah, so five hundred. Oh, <laughs> I turned on my. Oh no, I turned on my <laughs> iPad so that I could try to hear. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute myself and watch the next little bit on my iPad too. You'd better be at the tavern with a hot grog or two. I can't tell if that's better or not. I mean, I can't tell if it needs to be like a little bit. Just curious. Okay, we'll see how that is. I put it at 650. Also, I've used two out of the three potions that we have. <laughs> oh, I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did. Actually, hold on. Uh, also, as we continue, though, you feel free to tell me. Um. Feel free to tell me how things how things go. If it needs to be changed or more, I would rather, I'd rather know. Something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. We rolling, we rolling. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Push forward and X. <laughs> This seems fine. It's your average cabin with lots of rats. I'm sure that's okay. Ooh. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten falling down house. Hoof fungus and wild chervil. Yep, doesn't seem Looks steady enough. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is definitely fine. No, no. Ruh -ruh. Watch out! Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? I mean. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Can I? I can break my way through here. Mm -mm. Okay, so R1 is like fast attacks. Ooh. That was a combo. I think. Or is it just holding R1? Or R2? Anyway, okay. Hmm. 
a ghost. G -g -g ghost. R1 to deal light attacks. You do not belong here. Hello. What is ah? Oh, so that also is like. Very cool. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town, or are they keeping them in? Good question. Ross, welcome in, Ross. How are you? Spooky. Yeah, welcome to Gen After Dark. Where we play maybe a game that's a little bit more intense than normal. How are you, Ross? Why if he was here earlier? I always love seeing you two. We just started. We were trying to check to see if the sound was all right, like if it seems in sync. I'm still not confident. So if, if you guys find that it seems really off sync, please let me know, because I would like this to be watchable. Come back to watch the raid video and OMG did not disappoint. I'm so glad you liked it, Emmers. Uh, so, tab. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Can we replay? Let's let's replay the raid video because I want Tap to see it. <laughs> uh, I, I so far, I mean, the, I will say voice acting seems great. The combat that we've just done, I mean, seems very fluid. So we'll see how how it goes. I Tap, you have to see this, please. So this is our new raid video. Well, there's a bunch of new stuff. We have a new emote. There's some new art on the channel, new sound alerts, etc. But here is our new raid video. Apologies for everyone who's getting invested in this game. I just, I have, I have, Tap needs to... Your stream quality is fantastic. By the way, Tap, the next time we do a co-op stream, I should be able to actually have you on the screen. Like, I think, I think my computer can handle it now. My, my, I got a new iMac. I don't know if you were here around for that. So... Uh, anyway, enjoy this. Tap, please enjoy. There's a part that I hope you'll enjoy. You'll see. You'll all see. Hi, Raiders. I'm Jet, your fourth favorite streamer. Yeah, fourth. You know, the guy you end up with when your favorites are offline and you misclick my channel. Before we dive in, aw, Snapsicles, this is a family-friendly stream. Please keep your chats cozy and clean or my mods will be on you like a pack of wild pumas. Looking for a triple threat? Gaming, chatting, and looks? Well, let me tell you why I'm called Triple Jet. When it comes to gaming, we dive into puzzles, indie games, RPGs, and mysteries. But the biggest mystery of all will be why you're still watching. Like to chat? Well, we get so derailed, it's like we're a train to nowhere and I'm your conductor. Choo-choo. And when it comes to looks, I am like the solar eclipse. Best not to look at. Now, if you want a good streamer, follow the creators I just linked in chat. They will obliterate my stream like a snap from Thanos. Mr. Bezos, I don't feel so good. But if you like the wonderfully wrecked vibe of a beat-up pinata, then you're in the right place. The candy's mostly gone, but we can still keep it sweet. So drop a follow and we'll make this siesta fiesta the absolute besta. Got a jet. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. Uh... I did not get that shirt for the video. I just got the shirt because I liked it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I I When I started making the Mr. Bezos, I don't feel so good. I was like, I hope Tap sees this. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. Thank you, Ross. The, the, those, that is our style of raid video. We have two others, one of which didn't land. I don't think people really liked it as much. It's, it's Naruto themed. Um, but then the our first one is very similar to that one, just a little bit different, but just equally as self-deprecating. Uh, it's so good. I'm glad you guys like it. Triple Jet is a stroke of genius. <laughs> thank you. I, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was like, it, it just came to me. I don't know. Uh, also, I really like Siesta Fiesta. Because a, a siesta, siesta meaning like naps, right? Siesta or is that sleep? This is a siesta a sleep or is it just is it more specifically a nap? Anyway, I sort of thought a siesta fiesta is kind of like a snooze fest, which is like because uh, fiesta being like part siesta, define an afternoon rest or nap. 
Okay, yes, thank you, Tap. So, so like as as if it's a like a snooze fest, a siesta fiesta would be the would be the Latino version, I guess. <laughs> so, anyway, I was very I was I, I was very proud of all of it because it also we tie in the Latino stuff within like pinata, siesta fiesta. Anyway. Uh, your scripted bits are always so good. Thank you, Tab. <laughs> I I am much better scripted <laughs> than I than I am off the cuff. It's I don't know how how stream how I've been streaming for four years, but you think I've also gotten better. Uh, <laughs> but in fact, I think my the times I'm scripted, it's it's the best. It's better. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's. <laughs> Oh, my camera's been doing this. I think I need either my camera is bad, which I mean it's it is quite old. Or Dance, welcome in. How's it going? Or I might need a new a new or a different cable, a different mini USB to USB C. Congrats on the new Mac. How is it? I'm loving it. I mean Tap, this is, we're at 60 frames per second, 1080p. This is the first time ever in the stream's history that you're seeing me this clear. I mean, we, we tested it the other day, tested it the other day, but I mean, so fluid, so fluid. <laughs> um, so far it's been able to handle so much, even like, did I keep this here? No, I didn't. Oh. I uh, last week I tested out um where is it? Oops, that's not it. Uh I wanted just to even see cuz I haven't fully tested out how it would be to have like Discord like a Discord video on um or like whatever, but I did join a Discord call with my um little avatar guy. Hold on. Uh, I wanted to see how well it ran with this guy on the screen. And uh, I can have both. Last time on my old iMac, if I joined a Discord call, if I was like, pu like pulling in the audio from that, it would explode. Discord was like, I don't want to exist. <laughs> please, please. You kill OBS, kill everything. So uh, even the fact that we can have this on and my camera and I'm technically in a Discord call is like big improvement. So next time you want to do um, <laughs> same explorer, same. Uh, next time uh, you want to do uh, like Escape Academy or something else, I would love to to push the limits Let's see if we can crash this thing. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna keep this guy around just in the background. Well, I guess I should leave the Discord call because that just seems like a waste. Um, but um, to go further beyond, in fact. Uh, but anyway, yeah, overall I'm enjoying it. it uh, it's running so much better than my other computer. Um, uh, the one thing I need to figure out is why the camera freezes every once in a while. Could be it, the that it's my Canon camera. It could be something else. Unsure. Um, but um, anyway, Jet After Dark, friends. We after darking. Oh, more wanderers. That's our husband. Our, our husbando. Who's that guy? It's easy as falling off a box. Oh, I just noticed there's two two dead bodies. Uh, no, I'm down. I'm hesitant to call the busy season busy season over, but I'm getting more consistent scheduling opportunities. I will say, I started a note section on my phone specifically for the next time we stream. Questions for Jet? No way. That's amazing. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna need to cr create some questions for Tap. Uh, we should also 
Also, I should mention, well, one, uh, friends, if you're not following Tap, you should be. He's wonderful, hilarious, better than me. Um, and uh, after we finish Banishers, guess what game I'm playing, Tap? Guess what game we're going back to? people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever this doesn't bode well. Final Fantasy? No, I'm finally getting back to Tears of the Kingdom. Hmm, there's a lot of blood in here. It seems... Not bueno. Also, when I... Uh-oh. I like that little warning. Attacking with your weapons fills the banish gauge. When the banish gauge is full, press X to banish your target. Time to leave for good. Get banished. Enough. Uh. Spectral dust. A note, damp and bloody. Uh <laughs> the race is he will finish first. Incredible. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I forget that I announced some of these things sometimes. <laughs> uh, Speedrunners face off slow edition. Um, perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date? I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year 1695. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who read this now, I tell you, run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Uh, this is the same note. My bad. Uh, when we started the game, I accidentally used two out of my three potions because <laughs> I, I thought that might have been punch or something. Um, so I hope we get more. I'm assuming those are potions, the square button. Hello? Okay. She's napping. Uh, and again, for people watching. Hello. Alpha Wanderer. Um. Oh, that didn't, like, kill him? So it's not an insta-kill, is what I'm learning. That banishing thing. Um. Uh, please, uh, make note of, like, the sound delay in the game. Let me know if it looks like things are synced up or delayed. Too slow, too fast, you let me know. I would like somebody in the year... 2050 watching this say you know ah the sound is very much in sync that all goes badly for the case situation's worse than you thought let's wait to hear what Charles has to say that's red he's our husbando Empty docks in a growing settlement. Nothing but a good sign. Other town selectmen sit on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. It seems more in sync. Much more, much better than before at any rate. Okay. Well, if, if you guys have any more thoughts on that, please let me know. Seems pretty close. Okay. If you guys have any, any thoughts, like, I would like it to be great, you know? So if it, if you're like, it could be better and I can tell you that you need to delay your sound more or whatever, let me know. <laughs> We're going to Boston. Wicked cool. <laughs> I can't do a Bostonian accent. 
It's hard to tell when we're not seeing their mouths move as they're talking, but just going off sword swishes and stuff. Okay, yeah, let me know. And th that goes for any streams in the future. Like, because I don't know if it's different, because this is running off my PS5. I don't know if it'll be different when I switch back to my uh, Steam Deck. So, like, as we do stuff, you know, you can tell me. I can take it. That's going to be tough for us to di dictate to you. Well, I guess just saying, like, this is... It seems like the sound is coming in first, like that that kind of stuff. Because my audio is always delayed. I don't know if you guys know that. Because I'm not listening to the game audio. I'm listening to the sound coming from my OBS. So it's always delayed for me. So I, I can't really, like, adjust and tell. Um, what is? Yeah, if it's early or late, but it's fine to fine tune. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I just said if it's, like... You know, if you if it's if it looks bad, if you guys can really tell, like, hey, this doesn't match up, please let me know. Well, at least you recognize that you can't do a Boston accent. Most people think they can do a fine job, and it's actually awful. No, I know I I'm not good with accents. I wish I was good at them. New Eden Town discovered. A welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. I just find it crazy that they start their cars with their khakis. <laughs> That's good, Gizmo. Khakis. Um, I, I'm extremely direct on us, Ian for a duchy, so I'm always help. I'll always help you. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. Hello, France. Would you oh. lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Oh, wait. <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. It is. This is uh, our first I time playing it. There was definitely somebody in there, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, there is. Hello. Knock, knock. Uh, no, ding, dong. Yeah, because we're uh, with the narratives, with the narrative games, they're all muted. Or they should be. Oh, welcome in, Shady. <laughs> I'm the only ding dong. If I was an inn, where would I be? This must be the inn. Here. Must it be the inn? Not now. I mean it. Or or another or did you mean this place? Did you mean this was the inn? This looks more inish to me. Mustard V, the inn. <laughs> Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. Oh, no. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. So what is the game? We just started. Woman can be <coughs> so this is it, Forget so far. Her. Rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, 
We are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely with their expertise we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. No, I don't think it's a soul's like. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? I think it's just an action adventure story. It's made by the Dump Nod people. I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Discommodes. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Uh, how did you hear about it? So, I've heard a lot of people say good things about it. Um, I've seen a couple people say they were going to stream it, and then afterwards they were like, this is a great game. Uh, one of the things that interested me is apparently there is an aspect of the game that is kind of, like, detective-y. Um, I should move my camera, apparently. Uh, I guess we... So, we, we like, banish spirits... Um, and I guess we're going to go into different situations and we have to like learn about it and then we detect. So I think that's sort of like, um, the, I don't know, I, that, that interested me. Um, cause I guess you sometimes have to, you have to choose different things, but I'm not actually sure how, how it applies. I just, I know a very loose interpretation of the game, but it seems cool. Um, so what do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist rather a good one if i say so myself we're not demonologists and neither was charles is his widow esther taking visitors the widow davenport is at home and does not much venture out her house overlooks the dock i offered charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow but he refused he preferred the village life speak to her if she'll see you but she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Husband. About the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What did Charles know? What did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss his investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. For Charles. All right. For Charles. Why is town so empty? Why is town so empty? 
Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. For Charles! <laughs> uh, where did they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I mean, it is called the dark I woods. I believe we must stand our ground. Are you... Uh, ooh, making coffee and a, I got you got a standing desk. Oh, that's awesome. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here, but we sent the children away some time ago when many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is, but we do it all the same, because we must. Aye, because we must. For Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. The voice acting in this game is very good. Meet Esther Davenport at her house. Is there, like, a way to see? I guess it seems to automatically highlight if you can pick up stuff. Aha. A note. Inn's owner notice. As announced at the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Arm Tavern. King's Arms Tavern. Leaving the key to the selectmen, there shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Charity Crugget. Whoops. Just want to see if there's locked room. Locked room. We got piece of eight plus 15. That's very confusing. <laughs> eight? Piece of eight. Is that their currency? Weird that it's piece of eight, but plus 15. Very confused. It's okay. The compass indicates the direction Damn and it, distance Charles. towards the objective. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. <laughs> I can- oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, just got back from Paris. I competed in breaking at the Olympics, and it did not go well. <laughs> Raygun, is that you? Supposedly, she did a, uh, like, graduate-level thesis on breakdancing. I'm curious about, um, like, do you think this was all for her thesis? <laughs> do you think this is, like, some kind of experiment? We should go to Esther. 
I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. In all seriousness, she's an Australian icon and we stand her dancing queen. I'm I'm glad. I I I'm glad people have good humor about it. I was a little afraid that like cuz a lot of the other memes have been very, you know, like positive like the uh Korean and Turkish shooters. Um and I was like I hope people aren't being too mean, you know? Esther, hello. Andrea, Red. Come in. He has a cool, like, plaid scarf coat thing. S -s 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 not slash. Sash? I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know? Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How oh. are things? You know, Wait. before all this. Before the curse. It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Interesting. Okay, so there's... It's a portrait. <clears throat> the old friends, Esther Davenport, alive. The once joyful and educated good friend of Antea and Red is now a young widow who has lost her anchor and drifts unmoored on a sea of mourning. Unmourning, more like it. Intent not obtained. After seeing her husband's ghost, grieving widow Esther Davenport was deeply distressed. So is this going to, like... Uh, is that who's that who's that uh she did a phd bemoaning the commercialization how red bull etc have taken a creative sport and imposed reductive scoring criteria upon everyone interesting um she's sus i don't trust her i i, I don't trust anybody so far to be honest even the first guy we were talking to um Oh, Charles, Charles, Charles for Charles. Uh, okay, so I'm sure we'll learn a little bit about this. Understand why Charles lingers. Investigate the study, investigate the bedroom. Very cool. Yeah, so there's there is like a, 
investigative portion of this game, which seems cool. Mozzies. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Hasco? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. I really like the character designs. May like, I be of any help? Let me stay put. Hint of tank. Oh, wait. I should have read that. It says, you have unlocked a hint. Find the way. It contains important information about the person it is linked to. You can refer to these hints at any given moment throughout your hunting cases menu. So that was uh, probably what we saw already, it looks like. Cause yeah, it's just it's just that. So she is distressed. January fifth, sixteen eighty five. My beloved Esther, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate, a sweet of which one cannot tire. At last we shall be to Gaza and to Gaza forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. I am thinking of you uh, your, lo your love forever, Charles. Hints and intent. To understand why a ghost lingers in the incarnate, you must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed, and you may complete your investigation. Where are you uh, staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? We'd be more comfortable. Very kind, but a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much, but promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. I don't know. I, it, I don't know if it's a full whodunit, but I know we have to make decisions in this game based on things that happen in the, the stories. Um, let me see if I can read this before we have to play ads. Uh, February 21st, 1687. My dear S, my sweet Esther, I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I cannot argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Though this experience, through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments, that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this. For when I came, or for when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything, as long as you look at me with that spark that is only yours. I am thinking of you, your love forever, Charles. Okay. We have uh, 15 seconds, so um, ads are about to play, and uh, we will BRB. Uh, I'll, I'll catch you up after the BRB, uh, Sassy. So BR... B... Take this pause to rejuvenate, stand, stretch, hydrate. We will be back.
never felt so muscular. And welcome back, everybody. And I remember to unmute. Um, went AFK to figure out dinner, so I have no idea what's happening. Quick recap. Yeah, quick recap is um, we are... Does it show us? It does not. We are uh, uh, currently in control of Antea. She is, uh, I guess, like a master banisher. Um, and Red, uh, who is our husband, is an apprentice... We apparently go in and, like, purge ghosts. We fight, uh, like, demon monsters. Um, and we have been called to New Eden by Charles, um, who is dead. Who is now dead, we've learned. Um, Charles is, um, uh, I guess, was also a banisher or some somebody very similar who studied this type of stuff. Um, a curse has befallen the town of New Eden, and he had been waiting for them to, like, I guess he called for us to, uh, to help. Um, but, um, he, he, uh, upon waiting has died. I guess he tried to, the, he, he could no longer wait. And so he tried to stop the curse himself and died in the process. We really don't know how. Um, but the town is mostly deserted besides a few people. Um, and so far we have talked to his wife. Um, and somebody named Fairfax, somebody, I can't remember his last name, uh, who was like the new governor, I guess, of this, of the town. Mr. Painted just asked why the BRB screen is looking like a scene from a point and click adventure. Very hidden object esque. I guess it is kind of. Lots of little details in there. Um, but that's pretty much it. So this game seems to be, from my understanding, part action, part you know, ghost fighting, but then also there's some like detectiving. So we have to inspect clues. We learn about different things about them, about the characters. And I think we have to make like a choice at the end of each case, I think. Could be wrong. Sheet music, a new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Purcell, could you find nothing better? Dang. These days, I lack the heart to play. I believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. She's not doing too well. 
Uh, letter from Eleanor. Uh, my dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you and to know that you that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and uh, never-ending winters are phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer, be it sorcery, the presence of an ichor, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll has so little presence in the new world. Any new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend. Yours truly, Eleanor Combs. I didn't know Eleanor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Music, essay, sadness and interval, or a study on the Aeolian scale by Heinrich Pietri. Pietri. A printed book. A study of H. Purcell's Chaconi? Ch Chaconi. In G minor for strings by E. Davenport. Lots of music books. I love aioli. I know. <laughs> Great sauce. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Letter from a neighbor. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Let's get the bedroom. Are you hungry, dear? You must be starving after such a long trip. Well, I thought we said we'd have dinner tomorrow. It's no trouble. And save your provisions, Esther. I'm all right, really. Rory McGrath isn't hungry. Truly, Doomsday. Rude, rude raid. is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him. And now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God, he was a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. What is that? A chess piece. A precious king from a chess piece set by a gl protected by a glass dome. Interesting. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Thank you for the alert, Brad. A map of the new world? Before we read the big thing. None of, uh, this is Charles's notes, none on this side of the water and a few on the other know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud, but I suspect there to be witches. And I, if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Cult book from Charles's personal collection, Todd Fuhr D. Toten, by Balthazar Hans Frenhofer. You know, that guy. Uh, Australia? Uh, 
Oh, it won't let me look at it anymore. <laughs> it might not have been. Maybe they didn't... Australia didn't exist then, you know? That's, that's probably what it is. <laughs> well, I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> the Theological Book from Charles's Personal Collection, Formicarius by Johannes Nieder. Going to get to work. Have a nice one all, Shady. Thanks for coming and hanging out. It's always good to see you. Have a good one. Fortalitium Fidei by Alfonso Despina. All right, let's see what this is. Enjoy Spooklock Holmes. Oh, I'm going to use that as a title. <laughs> uh, scribbled Bible verses. Job 7, 13, 15. When I say, my bed shall come for me, my couch shall ease my complaints, and thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through vision, so that my soul chooseth, chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job. Chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. The compass is all glowing. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm. Hmm. Charles's note. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing, is something behind us? Who is the real target? And what caused this anger to birth force? Fourth, I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest, and this cannot perdure. Perdure? Per perder. Perdure. Perdure. Endure. Okay, it's, it means the same thing. But it's more formal, apparently. Good to know. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Hint obtained. So we got a new hint. Charles was worried about the influence the threatening spirit had on the settlers' dreams. Uh, investigate the bedroom. The difference between perdure and endure is that perdure has a connotation of continuing to last forever, uh, or at least until death, while endure has a connection of only continuing to last until some specific, specific specified time. Wow, that's interesting. I, I don't know if I've heard many people use the word perdure. Where do nightmares come from? I remember the teaching of my masters, may God bless their souls, against the threatening unknown when the com common knowledge is not enough to understand the situation, the sagacious and pious man will wisely turn to the very roots of his art, the words, their meaning, and the power hidden in each of them. Nightmare has nothing to do with a nocturnal female horse, as in the French, yep, or the German Nachtmar. Mare here comes from 12th century Middle Dutch and means ghost or demon. A nightmare is not a puny fiend sneaking into the bedrooms to suffocate their dreamers, but one of the rarest and most powerful spirits, a spirit defined by its only purpose, to spread its insidious and unforgiving wrath upon any living soul it may reach. According to my research, no occultist ever successfully banished a nightmare. But why? Could a nightmare be more than a ghost? I'm afraid so. I remember a disturbing poem I read in London in my younger years about the terrifying abilities of such entity, supposedly able to penetrate the dreams of its targets, to influence their thoughts and perception, and make them endure the worst uh, fear. Able even to bend the, the distance or uh, able even to bend the distance or alter time. Creating tantalizing and personalized nightmare its victims can't hope to escape from. Such a petrifying concept. I pray God with all my heart and soul that this is not what has risen upon us. How would we then escape despair, death, and doom? I need more information. But where to find them? Charles. Hmm. 
Charles's Davenport's brooch. A silver brooch habitually worn by Charles Davenport engraved with a distinctive three-hilted sword. That's a pretty cool brooch. Charles always wore this brooch. His brooch. things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Uh, low children are the hair are an low children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Three drops of a doctor's note, three drops of lavender oil and chamomile infusion before sleep winter green to rub tween palms and behind ears three times a day. If restless persists, use lemon balm, Evelyn. Got enough books, Charles. See, the piano is not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. I could write this guy's uh, book. This guy's voice is so good. I would, I would also, I would, I would also sleep. We could, we could nap both of us to his voice. Well, that sounds utterly horrifying. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. Unsent letter to Esther's sister. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it, how I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. My love, Esther. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. It seems interesting. So wait. After seeing her husband's ghost, grieving widow Esther Davenport was deeply distressed. Exhausted by her grief, Esther was unable to leave the house to attend her husband's burial. Evelyn Davenport did not properly bid her husband farewell and now suffers from it. The woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Oh, I thought that was for a second. I thought that was a um, I thought the light was a um, like marker for something I could interact with. It was not. Take us back to good old preschool days, exactly. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, Des but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. For Charles? Uh, Recoil, welcome in. How's it going? How are you? Daz, welcome in. Also, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Scary. I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't know if it's super scary. It seems action-y because we, we were fighting some ghosts earlier. Uh, but there's like a detective element to the game where I think we have to uncover what happened, like maybe what really happens in each scenario. I'm unsure, but how's the internet holding up? It's it's going well. The internet's good. I have a new iMac, and so it's running very well. Uh, streams streams been good. What is rated? Uh, it's T for Teen here in the U.S. So generally, for those who have never been around for a 
Jet After Dark. Jet After Dark is usually when we play a game that's like not as cozy as we normally play. Um, they have generally been rated M games, so M for mature. Um, but this one is T, but I think I was just like unsure about the content, and so I was able to find a warnings list. Um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I decided we'd make this at After Dark, meaning nothing really changes with chat or with us or anything. It's just this game might not be super cozy and, and people get a chance to decide whether or not they want to interact with the content of, of this game or, or not. But So I don't think this will get very intense, but the warnings list does seem a little bit extreme. Uh... <laughs> So far, the most disturbing part's been the letters about the nightmare. Everything else is fine. Yeah. Teen. Oh, we have, we say, we just say M for mature. I don't think we have a T. Yeah, we have E for everyone, T for teen, M for mature. And then there's like beyond that. But I don't think there's many games that are beyond that. Besides probably things you can find on Steam, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I will, I'll just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I think I, it, it, it shouldn't be too bad. It's also, by the way, Daz, this is made by Don't Nod. So it's the same people who made at least the first uh, Life is Strange. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. It, it does recoil. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us that we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles <laughs> you're, is gone you're good. and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. I don't, I don't think this is scary, Daz. I, I, I mean, I haven't been scared yet. We must make our way to the cemetery. But please be careful, dear Antea. I mean, but maybe we will. <laughs> I say that now, and then it just I mean like we were we're fighting pretty pretty good. Like we we're like we're, we seem pretty strong. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe we will end up like getting spooked. What do you do for <laughs> no, my Charles? I'm a, a little baby boy. Take him away. If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Uh, let's get started. Time may be against us. We're right now controlling Antea. That's our husbando, Red. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. <laughs> Ask around. <laughs> See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye, you too. Should we really be splitting up? This seems Scooby-Doo number one. To find the location of your next objective, open your map. A shop? I feel like, oh, we do have, we have 25 pieces of eight. Oh. Guineas were the official currency used in English con colonies, but there were so many shortages through the, through the decades that the settlers had to use other currencies to maintain business. As known, also known as a Spanish dollar, pieces of eight were largely used for trade since this currency was strong and common in the North American settlements. Good to know. I don't think we'll be buying anything. Um, do I need to... Oh, I can. Okay. Investigate the symmetry. This is single player, yes. Um, hello. You'd be one of the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry. 
But if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGraith, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Well? I really like the uh, character designs. They're pretty well done. Uh, 1967? Or so, no, 1697. <laughs> this is the 1960s, can't you tell? Uh, <laughs> Luckless Lorelei, welcome in, how are you? I had an early day today at work and then I spent some time cleaning at and at the pool. Dang, that sounds like a wonderful day. I was gonna say, that's <laughs> Look, things have changed a lot from the 60s. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, this is a single player game. Uh, it's a it's a narrative narrative game. Seems more like the '80s. It does have a very '80s vibe. Um, uh, also, for those who have not been around, when we play some of these story-heavy games, we do turn off all of the most of the redeems and sounds and extra stuff, just so that we can like you know not if something sad is happening, we don't get a thing where it's like somebody's dying in somebody's arm and then somebody's intro alert plays and it's like. Yeah, baby! Like, you know, something like that. So, we we try to, you know, balance it out. <laughs> Same recoil. A little bit, anyways. Wait, what's going? what's been going on? I've been sucked into a deep dive for one of my favorite artists and albums. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you're enjoying that, Diego. Okay, so tell us about the curse. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. Well, I'll not speak ill of my neighbors. Someone must have let the evil in. A name might help. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Besides, I have no name to give you. It was me! <laughs> uh, for those who have watched uh, The Expanse, Antea, the character that we're playing, she sounds. I I don't know. I don't think this is the same voice actor, but I feel like the accent is the same, and like the quality of voice is the same. She sounds like a character named Carmina Drummer. I think is her name. She's like a captain of some ship. She has this like the same accent almost, and and like inflection on some of the words. It's it's kind of uncanny. Do you have bad dreams? Charles, Minister Davenport said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. Hmm, she's seeming very, very, uh, Amaka Okafor. Okay, that's for sure that's definitely not the character, the lady from The Expanse, but. Uh, it was a one-armed man. <laughs> I left my evil evil portal open. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Diego, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Uh, I've just been... To, oh, yeah. No, you're totally good. We totally understand getting distracted here. You're to, you don't even worry about it. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Hmm. Did you know Charles Davenport? Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. Bereft indeed. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Right, bye. This was pleasant. <laughs> that also looks like Elizabeth. Exiage, welcome in! How's it going? All this, yeah, uh, all this way. Little ratties? So this is, oh, not where, okay, I thought we were at the, is this the shop? No, what is this? This is nothing. There's a note here. No food here. Done. Okay, easy. Mm. 
Oh, hello. Nice hat. Get out of my way. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't buy it. I bet there's food in there. You know what? We should double check. That's what they want us to think. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. <laughs> I think I was hilarious. Also, let's see. So, okay, we're, we're next to a shop, apparently. Oh, perhaps it's you. You're the shop. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course. I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. Uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need is information. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too, so much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Isn't that that movie that Folks came out? stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. Uh, he must be the one who let the event get out of my way. It's a very evil thing. I know, exactly. Him and Olaf are my favorite characters. Olaf was very funny. I loved Olaf. Uh, and maybe they could be all in on it. I love the idea of these games, but I don't have the patience to listen to all the di dialogue. I'm a I love like narrative games. I will we we play Disco Elysium, which has so much like it's all read to you, so you don't have to read it yourself. But it has so much. But I loved all of it. I'm here for it. I love lore. I love like stories. I don't know. I'm here for it. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. There's like a spirit in the background. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, Menacingly. watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. <laughs> uh, I won't <laughs> even charge you for it. Not sincere. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive, I see? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Show me your wares. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. I only have 25 as uh, uh, eights or whatever. Pieces of eight. Uh 
Okay, so not a lot. Okay. Is any of this stuff, like, just for selling? It doesn't look like it. No. I assume we need that. Oh, wait, it's a neutral. Care to trade? Hold on. What does that mean? Most of my goods are already. This is the merchandise you may or buy or sell. Oh, maybe, maybe that's like, yeah. So maybe we'll, we'll, um, if it's like positive or gets better, maybe we can sell things for more, or maybe we'll get a better deal. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. Yeah, a pleasure, makes sense Mistress to me. Duarte. I don't like the cut of his jib. Oh, uh, there's just some like ghosty spirits over here. Should I take a look at that? Oh, to the cemetery. That's where we're trying to go. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, I see you. A wisp, so close to town. It's a ghost rider. Yeah, it's a cool. It's a cool little sword, like a cutlass, maybe. I don't know. This is, it kind of looks cutlassy. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. <laughs> Close to nobody. Where are you leading me? G -g -g ghost Oh, he like teleported or something. That's you? Um. Cold is a fight. Oh right, I can lock on. L1 to block or parry. No one is safe here. Give me the spectral dust. What does the sword look like? It looks like this. Uh. Hmm. Some wintergreen. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. that oh fungus do I go up or down oh. as a banisher you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts when in close proximity to these elements your bane rings will be triggered and light up with an orange aura walk around to find the source okay I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Oh. Is this Is this what is this what you mean? Hold on. What's this? I feel like Got some pyrite. Let's look around for a minute. Before we just, you know. Uh-oh. What's that? Okay. Like a light cavalry saber or something. I could see that. Cutlass is more piratey, right? I assume this would let us go down. Sure, why not? Ooh, pyrite. Pyrite y. <laughs> um. It's okay. We need to find. What's making us glow? There's also that area. Let's go here first, though. 
many dead in more recent years. Fool's gold. Cutlasses are shorter, thicker weapons meant for close range and parrying as the traditional sabers meant for mounted combat. It's needed a, for uh, it's needed a bit of reach. Interesting. Hey, Charles Davenport, this is the guy. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. So we found Oops, I always, <laughs> I'm always gonna accidentally just. So he found his grave, but maybe this is where he died? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform ritual. Ah, memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary, necessary resources. Seashore candles, a medium-sized plant with thin, long leaves and star-shaped flowers, Composed of five yellow petals, grows close to water. Can be found in the Harrow's region or bought from merchants. Okay. Summon Scourge, hearkening, make manifest. If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. Okay. So, uh... This is this, uh... Isn't Charles Davenport the guy who discovered DNA? Uh, wait. Oh, is this it? Oh, it's Stripe Wintergreen. Um, I don't actually know. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Side note. Have you ever listened? Uh, I know of them, but no. Seashore Candles. We got some. And we run back. Oh, hello. Down you go. Easy. <laughs> Thank you for your time. No, you're, you're good. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing a ritual consumes resources even if you select an incorrect ritual. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Okay. Wait. Ritual helps one to tune into a fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost through compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Leo constellation. Force a ghost or specter to appear. Force a scourge to appear. Sustained through compelling words, carving. This ritual will force all types of scourges to reveal themselves. Interesting. So, hearkening. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! I was gonna say, I was like, I well, don't see somebody else. Since you ask so politely. The woman in white. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> Damn it. That 
thing he faced. What was it? Ominous, I am everything you feared, right? So, <laughs> so facing the, en the terrifying entity threatening New Eden, Charles Davenport's heart gave out. Charles tried to make the spirit manifest. He failed. Interesting. Wait. Uh, and he was worried about people's dreams. Charles's Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at Job 7, 13 through 15. When I say my bed shall come for me. We read this earlier, right? Uh, this tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. After a closure performed by Antea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Oh. Back to his grave, then. Oh. oh. Uh, that's not the run button. There we go. So, we make manifest. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Where's Red? <laughs> Spooky. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I keep on thinking Charles Xavier. Charles. I know you're here. Yeah, where's the husbando? Shouldn't we like regroup or something? I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Why does he look like a pilgrim? I think because I think they're all uh, like uh, new settlers, sort of. Um. Oh, we actually have a face now. What did you learn about the curse? Before you died, <laughs> we you investigated whisper. the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. <laughs> and here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained, but it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. 
I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Story is so strong I kind of forget it's a game. Yeah, same. It's, it's, again, and the voice acting in this has been incredibly good. Like, uh, I feel like there haven't been any weak voices really, you know? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Oops. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther. I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and Dang. my mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Thank you, Dance. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Oh! Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh gosh, she's like, oh, I'm a ghost. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. <laughs> Esther. Half banished. My good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, 
Why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. Was she... Okay, wait. I'm kind of confused about one thing. The second thing that she just did seemed a lot more chill than the first th go around. <laughs> I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and... Aww. <laughs> oh, maybe. is at rest now. And Taya... She gave him the care he needed. Can you give her the alert kill more? Aww. Antea also sad. Uh, Cause yeah, I, I yeah, I was thinking at first it seemed like she was really like banishing him, but then he like ascended. I guess it seemed a lot less, you know, <laughs> intense. Uh, <laughs> the first time it didn't seem like he really was liking what was happening. Um, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, he is Scottish. And they, they mentioned, I think they either met in the Scottish Highlands or at least uh, uh, Charles had had been there as well. So I, I assume they all kind of met somewhere over there. You're making me want to replay this. I'm really enjoying it so far. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands, his calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. <laughs> You're right. He's at peace and you deserve to rest. You just saw him. <laughs> ads cuz i just want to keep playing i'm sorry i'll miss him dearly tomorrow we'll continue investigating the curse good night esther i am glad you are here both of you we need you. Good night, my dear. Um. How's Bondo? She's trying to find that one specific log, you know. Yeah, poor Esther. <laughs> he just always disappears. Again, if we were dealing with ghosts, we're not splitting up. We're staying together, you know? Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I hmm. am the Banisher. <laughs> 
Right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. She's a sassy one. Uh... What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze. And at the same time, we rot. <laughs> She's and a wild Stanport one. Stanport <laughs> said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort, but I'm afraid I would be lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lady. Also, Dan, thank you so much for those 50 bits earlier. Hey, Preesh. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling, only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Woo, that was an intense dream. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? She does have a lot of The bracelets. minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I have lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Is this 2020? Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. Uh... <laughs> 2020 was wild, it really was. Yeah, uh... It's a, a much older name. You, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? Uh, okay, ads are about to play, um, and then we will come back. I assume we're gonna fight a ghost. I assume. <laughs> I feel like that's. I feel like we're we're gearing up towards that. So, uh, friends, if you need a stand up stretch, etc., now is the time to go do so. We will be back here in un moment. Take this pause to rejuvenate, stand, stretch, hydrate. We will be back in just a few moments. Why is that Garfield so muscular?
Jet, a whisper lost in the wind. Your mic is muted. Thank you. <laughs> that <laughs> that is gonna get so much use. Uh, <laughs> I was saying, uh, gosh, the, the camera froze. Um, I was saying that uh, for those who were here um, for the Linky Toe Twitch campaign, I forgot to mention this earlier, um, but uh, I mess I today on Twitter I posted a video of the um, uh, the campaign. Um, in a clip from it or whatever and tagged the dev and said kind of what you guys said that you wanted more um, levels of that um, and he said that um, there it looks like they're going to be working on it um, uh, he said so agreed with you I like these levels need more smiley face so I assume that means maybe more linky toe uh, uh, twitch levels those were very fun but also I just saw another thing that was kind of random and kind of neat apparently um, Twitch is going to start testing out um, an experiment that will hold a potentially harmful message before it's posted in chat. So if you, like, say something that, I mean, surely none of you would be toxic. But if you say something that could be harmful in some way, um, it'll actually, like, send you a little, um, like pop-up that you have to clear out before you send it, but it basically says, like, uh, the user will need to confirm that they want to send it first before it's, like, posted in chat. So it'll say, are you sure you want to send this? And then it has, like, your message. And it says, your message may contain words that could be considered offensive or disrespectful. And then you have to send either hit send anyway or go back. So that's kind of interesting. That's kind of neat. I'm also... Fa I, we haven't uh, used this... <laughs> um that's funny gilmore uh we haven't used it there's there's a new warning feature in twitch i haven't had to use it yet but basically there's a way to like uh instead of just timing somebody out or ne necessarily even needing to tell somebody like hey could you stop that there's a way to warn somebody and then you like basically send them a message of like so if you, you could say, like, warn, and then, like, we're family-friendly here, please no cursing or whatever. Uh, the person then cannot chat until they have accepted that they've seen the message, which is kind of interesting. So, But we haven't, we haven't used that yet. Uh, <laughs> I found what, what do elderberries smell like? I don't think, I've never, I've never had, tasted, smelt one, I don't think. Okay, where's our husbando? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think, I think. Hopefully, you guys won't, you know, ever experience that. Is this the same guy who's like, get out of my way? Good day, sir. No, it's not. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. He's, he sounds Ante suspicious. Duarte. You may meet Red McGrath about the place. Uh, just the streamer you can bachelor. do that, Mary. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It Oof. is fallen out of use. Will that be all? Uh, that uh, does that does sound terrible, Dan's. You shall not chat about the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if His servants remain humble. It's very hobbitish. I've come to help. Be a good and humble servant and tell me about the curse. I'll not waste my time. We, madam, have prayed for salvation, and you are not it. Doing. Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? You don't want to hear about those. Try me. In my sleep, chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Hmm. That's where the ghost Did is, Did you know though. the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? 
I did know that. <laughs> to his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed to repudiate his works. Obviously. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. The faces look so good in this game. Like, not necessarily like real. Like they, they, they're still like a uh, stylized sort of look to them, but but still like very detailed, if that makes sense. Uh. Farewell, <laughs> Mister Bachelor, and you may wish us luck. I, shall I have been around dance unfiltered. <laughs> I shall wish you salvation. Is this the storehouse? It is. Okay. Oh, we're like right next to it. Okay. Right? No, this is the inn. Oh, the schoolhouse. I mean, that's where we're staying. Sorry. <laughs> he laughs. Because of trauma. No. Oh. He's playing a mouth harp. Right? Is that what this is called? Oh, our husbando. His instruments. Banishers techniques. As banishers, we are no spiritual guides or inquisitors. We are ghost hunters for hire, specialized in sensitive crafters who train hard to protect the living, the livings through our rituals and knowledge about ghosts. Inspectors, we are no cult. There is no hierarchy nor established dogma among us. The most obvious reason why a banisher becomes a banisher is because he or she wants to protect the living from the dead, whatever the reason. We are efficient, adaptive, and versatile. Our community is sparse and nomadic, like, just like our predecessors were. We wander the world in search of living victims of the dead, cleansing haunting cases using techniques tried and trusted and honed by generations of masters and pupils, releasing or banishing the ghost, rarely blaming the living. Unlike puny sorcerers, we do not waste our time crafting enchanted rifles with the butt barrel and stock engraved with runes and other symbols of power. For hunting specters or otherwise, who would wish to depend on a single weapon? Instead, we bring our Bane Powder, prepared according to recipes handed down from generation to generation, rendering any firearm capable of shooting and damaging a supernatural target no matter what the ammunition. Efficient, ad efficient adaptive, versatile. Our knowledge of alchemy and botany helps us selecting helps us selecting minerals and plants whose properties will support our work. We do not waste time in libraries or schoolrooms. We do not waste our time drawing, carving, or engraving complex circles of power, because what we gain in power or nuance will we lose twice as much or more in time, risking putting ourselves and those around us in unnecessary danger. Instead, a clever banisher carries stamps in wood or metal which mark to, with which to mark a door, wall, or stone with the necessary symbol for the appropriate ritual. We also wear rings upon our fingers with these symbols, so we always have a range of powerful runes close at hand, as it were. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Uh, thus we prevail, thus we fight, thus we send back the creeping dead where they are supposed to be. From Death to the Dead by Balthazar H. Frenhofer. Uh, we read, uh, or like at least the title of one of his books from before. Why are we stealing? We, we, I mean, wh who's going to use this, you know? Rest. <laughs> Also, oops. Oh, oh, that's good to know. Didn't I see there's like. Photo mode allows you to freely move the camera around as you may go beyond the limits of the game area, gameplay area. You could see things you're not supposed to. Oh, interesting. For, from the game, you can quickly reach photo mode by pressing up. I just want to see Mouth Heart playing. Does he actually have one? 
He does. I I have never used one. They do not seem easy to use. He's definitely a nice little a nice little tune. <laughs> Your husband has a few screws loose. He's he's special. Internet just ceased to work for a long time. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you're back. Close-up of our weapons. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Hmm. That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport, our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to it. You'll not escape me so easy. <laughs> you I would bring back from the dead. <sighs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you wouldn't they? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be it. What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Uh oh, nightmares. Bro. She took her firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Right, bro. Yeah, it did not seem Where comfy. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? Uh oh. We running. We running. Who's there? Antea. I don't know if this is the right way. This is not the right way. Oh, <laughs> Why did you go up there alone? Oh, we running. I'm hoping. And here. Ghosties. I suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? 
You're the boss and all, but you could have included me. I need to lock on. <laughs> That'd probably help. A chance. Matea, are you hurt? <laughs> Where are you? Get more. I'm here, my love. What happened? Uh oh. Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Oh, hello. Will you slay the righteous? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? Edwin, Help. welcome in. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. <laughs> Why are we like not even fighting? <laughs> no. Me, me when somebody says they don't like pizza. We fighting. He will suffer like I do. We are not your enemy. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, three little health bars. I assume. What's Oh. This is rude. Square to oh, so that's, that's a potion. This is very rude. Okay, so I should use those um uh whatchamacallits. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> Whoops. Well, that doesn't seem good. Where's Anthea? If you laid a finger on her. You're what? Come to her aid? Oh, there is no aid. There is oh. only. Oh. Oh. Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manor, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. Come to her aid now when all is lost. Doing. If you do, I'll be waiting. <laughs> she cheated. The nightmare cheated. She one shot Antea. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. <sighs> Title. It Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. And without Antea, this will turn into a brologue now. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go. <laughs> Thank you, Roz. I needed somebody to <laughs> to acknowledge acknowledge that. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, honestly. <laughs> Bro logs are good. Hello. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but, but do I? She should not be that close to the fire with those, like, straw guards. It's normal. <laughs> you've been near killed Shin by guards. a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the banisher, said my mistress. 
Tend him and then answer any questions he asks <laughs> you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive and you haven't given up. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Seredin, this little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Seredin. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. This nightmare, how it spoke, how it tore right through her. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. <laughs> it was a little bit kind of sad. Such a powerful spirit here. Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. A friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. That's love, that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in it, governor. <laughs> Uh, Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith, but they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress said you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if or when I need to? Maya marshes, great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. What's the person on the ground? So what a cool torch for some reason. Yeah, this is a person, right? Who is this? Wait, am I? Oh, they've been long dead. Hold on, let me just see real fast. Is she is she gamed up? She she uh she clipped through the walls. <laughs> she had a game genie. <clears throat> Ex Exorzen. An exorcism. 
from the old Greek root alemon, a wonder, to the Latin exulo, an exiler, to the Frankish banjan, an exiler or banisher. The wandering exiler, the banisher. In ancient Greece, were was there the metra, metra, Gertz, Metragertes, Metra, yep. <clears throat> a cult of wandering beggar priests from place to place they went, uh, went they, singing songs and banging drums that the spirits of the dead be calmed or set free or exiled. This they did in honor of the long dead Thracian uh, magician Orpheus, he whose love for uh, Eurydice was so powerful that he followed her through the land of the dead and into the abyss, won her freedom, and near brought her back. As the world grew, so did the knowledge of the sons and daughters of Orpheus, but some did not embrace the new wisdom. They learned not and remained forever beggar priests. Through shapes and patterns seen and heard from antiquity to modern times, these wanderers use the hidden laws of the universe to open the gates and send the spirits of the dead away. To serve the living, the banishers destroy the dead. But they know little. They have forgotten their parentage. They have lost touch with we who see the colors and the shades of all the light and all the dark, the good and bad and everything, living and dead. The banishers have their uses, yes, as a hammer has its use when driven a nail must be, but the hammer does not care about the plank or the nail, nor does it understand it is made of the same wood and iron. The banishers know nothing of the hem, for they are not and might never be one of us. They do not stand between the world of women and men, women and men in everlasting darkness. They do not minister to the dead so that they so that the living may live. They do not know, for they are not witches. They are yet the children of Orpheus, and they do not look back. From Letters to Theano by Mother Shipton and Vasas Das. Seeker's message. Banisher, if you read this, it means that, one, you have enough brain power to know your alphabet. Rude. Two, you have not resisted going through what I left behind. Uh, three, you may take whatever you deem useful since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet soon enough. Until then, be well, Seeker. Yes, well, of course I'm going to look through things. I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Would I be a gamer if I did not look? Gamer first, Banisher second. I kind of wish this game had one of those buttons that highlighted anything you could interact with, like, in an area. Because I I feel like I'm going to miss things, but maybe maybe I'm fine. Uh, okay, I think this is this seems like a good place to stop. Gamers for life? Um... Uh, so yeah, I think this, this seems like, oh, look how, I mean, this looks very pretty. I mean, despite it being, you know, very, fairly bleak, there's also a dead body there and there's a bunch of capsized boats, but this seems very pretty, you know, it's nice. There's something, some quaint about it. Um, but this seems like a good place to stop. Save. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, for those, uh, that weren't here, the plan is that today and tomorrow we were going to... Uh, play banishers Wednesday we'll take a little bit of a break you know give us a little bit of breathing room we're gonna play a indie game called the star named Eos I it might be a one stream game if it's a second one we'll play that uh Wednesday Thursday and then we'll be back to banishers for sure on Friday shipwreck Cove. this has been interesting I really like this uh I I think the the like acting in it there's so much acting, and it's the acting is very good. Lots of, uh, like, the voice acting, I think, is, I don't know, just, it's very natural sounding, I guess, despite it also being, like, you know, uh, a different era. Voice acting has been ter terrific, and the music so far is nice, too. Yeah. Um, 
it's so far it's a lot of story very little like action but i'm okay with that like i i wanted to play a, a narrative game and it seems like this has a very good story it seems at least i'm i'm invested in uh red and 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 taya i'll tell you uh they're they're and narrative it is it is in fact very nar- narrative um but I, I don't know. I, I'm liking it. Uh, this year, I wanted to play more narrative games. So this is like just right on Taya. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. Um, I want to get her back. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm curious. I'm curious about some things. So um, anyway, we'll see. But I'm very excited. I want to. I want to know more. I want to see what else happens. I'm very intrigued by um, the story. Bunch of clicking. Uh, I have a, a little pocket. A little pocket in my little sweater. Um, <laughs> thought this is funny. Thank you for the clip. Wheels are turning already. Yeah, I've got some thoughts. I I can I I can see some conundrums, if you will, um, that we're probably going to run into. So we'll we'll see if. Uh, if, uh, you know, we'll see how the conundrums go, but I'm already loving this game very much. Yeah. It's very interesting. And I'm, I'm also interested to see. So I, I at least know that we are going to have to make some decisions. Like when we interact with the different stories, I, obviously the start of this was very like handholdy because of the way the story went and there's, there wasn't much choice, but I think we're going to have to make decisions on different in different situations uh kind of like um what we've we've seen like ascending a spirit versus banishing it um i think we'll i think there might there might even be another option um but i think we'll have to be making those choices at the end of like some of the different things we solve so how that plays out and for what reasons we'll see but uh, I'm very much liking this a lot. So I'm excited to continue this tomorrow. I think this will be very fun as our, 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 our little game. I think it's, it's only, I think it says it ranges from 20 hours to 60, um, <laughs> depending on how much of a completionist we are. 60 was a completionist. 20 was main story, main story plus like side quest was 40. So somewhere between 20 to 40 hours, we'll see. So we'll be playing this for the next few weeks, probably through a lot of August. Um, and But don't worry, there'll be some other uh, indie games in the way. Let's go for 60. I don't, I, if, the thing is, I don't know if this requires, by completionist, I don't know if they mean like you're going to have to replay the game to get different. Because um, again, if we're making choices, that must mean like, different things might happen if you choose other things i guess so i don't i don't know how how dependent it is on that but we'll we'll see i do love exploring um but i can't i also can't tell like how linear this game is so we'll we'll just figure it all out anyway i'm in, I'll, I'll i'll enjoy the ride for sure cuz i think uh, i'm already on board for the storytelling uh, and the characters and stuff so but friends that's it for us today uh, let me just give a fuel a fuel uh, a few thank yous real fast um, two one everybody thank you for being here and for uh, messing with a lot of the new stream stuff it's very fun I'm, I'm excited ascend versus banish probably changes some things yeah and I wonder if it's going to be kind of also like you know some fun moral things of like should we banish this person should we ascend this person like what did they do? All of that. And Edwin, thanks for coming in. Thanks for the fuel. Yeah, thanks for popping in. Um, so, uh, Mary, thank you so much for the three months. Also, happy birthday, Mary. I hope you've had a great day. Um, I'm sure I will see you in YV's stream this evening. Also, I think YV and I might be playing Power Wash Simulator on his stream. His Thursday. My... Wednesday, well, Wednesday evening slash Thursday early, early, early morning. Um, so, uh, friends, just know that. And Mary, thank you for the 50 stream streak. And boop, 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 boop. Uh, Gilmore for the 200 and something bits. 
I think. Uh, and K, the B for the raid, and Dan's for the 50 bits. Thank you so much. You guys are all awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging. And Foss, hello. I hope you're having a good day. Um, <clears throat> but friends, that is uh, it for us. We'll be back tomorrow with more of this. Um, some more, more Banishers. I hope you um, are enjoying it. Can't wait to uncover more of the story. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for, mo for more. Uh... Bye-bye!